Hey there, and welcome to another video with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your GoDaddy domain name to your Bluehost hosting provider. And after we've connected your GoDaddy domain name to Bluehost, I, I will also show you how to install WordPress once you've connected. So I know last time I did a video about how to connect your GoDaddy and Namecheap domain name to TSO host, but this video is a little bit different. Okay, before we get started, I would like you to go in the description down below and click on the very first thing you see. It's going to be the Bluehost uh, link, right? So it, it, it's urimedia1.com slash Bluehost. Or oh, I'll leave a link of Bluehost on my screen here as well. It's called urimedia1.com slash Bluehost. Use that link and it will lead you into the Bluehost homepage and then we can get started. So, so okay, guys, here we are on my Bluehost dashboard. As you can see here, I have two websites installed. I have a website called build an amazing website.com and then another one called today build your website.com right this specific website is connected with namecheap so i've connected uh, my namecheap domain name to bluehost i'll show you the video i'll put the link of that video in the description if you if you haven't watched that video yet i'll put the link of that video in the description so you can check it out but today you will connect godaddy instead so I will assume you already have a domain name with GoDaddy. And in terms of hosting, if you don't have a, a hosting with Bluehost, you can come here to, to your Google browser and type oemedia1.com slash Bluehost, right? And then type enter. So the plan that allows me to connect several domain names to my hosting provider is the is this specific plan. By the way, there are several plans with Bluehost, just in case you didn't know that. So once you've entered urimedia1.com slash Bluehost, it will lead you into this specific screen. This is the Bluehost uh, hosting provider home screen. I need to click here on Get Started here on get started you have several plans so there's four plans there's a basic there's a choice plus online store and the pro so the one that i'm using at the moment is the choice plus so this plan is great right you can host a lot of websites on it and you get a free domain name for the first year once you host your website i also leave a link of bills in the description if you want to use it i also have it in the description but if you want to go ahead to build like online store or you know e-commerce store the plan that I will recommend you to go for is the online store. So this one, it has a, a little bit more capacity and there's quite a lot of advantages as well that you, that you can get here. But anyway, go ahead and choose your plan and purchase. If you don't know how to purchase a hosting on Bluehost, I do have a video on how to purchase a, Blue, a hosting on Bluehost. I also put a link of that video in the description. I also put it on the card up there so you can check it out. Yeah. So, okay. This is my GoDaddy account. At the moment, I do have two domain names with GoDaddy on this account. I also have domain name with, with Namecheap, by the way. So I use GoDaddy and Namecheap. But um, in terms of domain names, I prefer Namecheap, right? So, uh, I mean, all these links you will see in the description anyway. So I have two domain names with GoDaddy right now. In order to connect your hosting to GoDaddy, you need to come here to, to your name here, up here, and click on My Products, right? Or you can click here on the GoDaddy. It will directly lead you into the, the product. But if it doesn't lead you here, you need to press here on My Products. And once you click on My Products, you will have this page. And in here, you need to click here on DNS. And here on DNS, there, there are several records at the moment. As you can see, there's quite a lot of records here. You scroll down and where it says name servers, uh, at the moment, the default name server by GoDaddy is ns21.domaincontrol.com. We're going to change that because um, Bluehost name servers is different. So we're going to change that. So what we're going to do is we're going to access the the we're going to ask, access the Bluehost name servers. So where, how do we do that? We come here to um, domains, this specific area. We click here on my domains, right? Now. 
So in order to see the name servers, we need to click here on this drop down button and uh, click here on DNS. And right here, as you can see here, name name servers, right? Where you say, just here at the bottom where it says name servers, you have name servers, NS1, Bluehost.com, ns 2 bluehostcom you, we also have like a website where you can find, you know, Bluehost name servers. These are the ones that we have here. As you can see, they are the same. They are basically all across the internet. Uh, Bluehost name servers are the same. So we are just going to copy this for now. I'll just copy this now. And then I'll come here to the Godaddy name servers here. And then I'll click here on change. And it says edit name servers, connect my domain to a website, right? I need to enter my own name servers here. Click on that. And then here, I'm going to paste Bluehost name server, which is ns1.bluehost. And then here, I also paste the second one. So instead of having one there, I will have two, right? Or if you don't want to do that, you can just go back again here and copy NS2, you know, and paste it but that's up to you, but I'll just write it there like that. So once you've done that, you need to press here on save, right? So it says name name server update, do your store1.com. Changing name server is risky and could potentially lead to your website disappearing from public views. Okay, uh, click here, yes, I consent to update name servers for the selected domain. And just click on yes and click on continue. It says success, hang tight. We are updating your name server so you can't edit your DNS settings until that's completed. So don't worry about that. That's not really a big deal. It will take a bit of time. Sometimes Godaddy takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Sometimes it takes up to 24 hours to update the name servers, but never mind. If you see that message, what you need to do here, you need to reload the page, right? Click here on reload. You can see here, so at the moment, name name servers here at the bottom, you have NS1, Bluehost, NS2, absolutely fine. So now that we've done it, right, we need to head back into our um, Bluehost dashboard. Here we are on our Bluehost dashboard. You need to click here on domains. And here on my domains, click on that. And here you need to click on assign domain, right? Click on assign. Here, here on assign, it says, use a domain that's not already registered with your account, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our GoDaddy account and we're just going to copy this uh, specific domain. Let's just copy that. And then we'll paste our domain name here. Bluehostore1.com. Please type a valid domain name. Okay. Let's just type that dot com. It says verifying domain. Okay, that's that's fine. It says ownership verify the the name servers for domain be your store are currently to NS1. So you, you can see it has automatically recognized what we've done here with GoDaddy, right? So you can see the name servers here automatically appears down here. So you can see that, right? Now, here it says, next, please choose how you would like to assign the domain. Add-on domain. An add-on domain is a domain name that points to a different subsidiary, sub-directory sub on your account. This gives you the ability to make it look like an entirely different website. Park, domain, on assigned domain. I mean, read these details, but the one that I want you to choose and the one that I'm going to choose right now is the add-on domain, that's what we're gonna go for. And here where it says, please specify a directory you would like the add-on to point to. So we're going to stick to the create a new directory, right? Which is the buyourstore1.com. And the subdomain is going to be buyourstore1.buyour, an amazing store. Anyway, leave that the way it is now. I'm not gonna change it, right? This subdomain is required to for cPanel, you will see bill, able to access your domain name directly by going to view your store. Anyway, uh, let's just click here on assign this domain name for now. That's what we need. Okay, it has finished uh, setting up now. Um, view your store onecom You know, everything is done here. I'm not gonna, it says no painting registration or expiration. You know what, leave this bit. And let's just go to my domains now. 
again. On my domains now, as you can see here, we have viewyourstore1.com. So it, it has been assigned. Uh, so now we need to install WordPress on our domain name. So basically we need to start setting up our website. So click here on my site. And on your site, click here on add, add a site, right? Create a new site. Actually, I need to stop here. So when you click here on add a site, you either have two options, right? So you can either migrate existing site. I have a separate video on how to migrate an existing website, you know, uh, yeah, how to migrate an existing website. I have a separate video on that, but to create a new website, you need to click here on create new new site, right? And here I'm going to uh, name that. This area where it says advanced, I won't really touch it. I'll just leave it the way it is for now. You know, I'll just leave it and then I'll click here on next. Uh, here, for example, where, where it says domain, right? It, yeah, it's, it, you know, it, it is asking me to select the domain name. So I'm going to select the one, the domain name we've just uh, added. So be your store one.com. That's the one that we've just added. Uh, it says helpful free plugin. These are just suggestions that Bluehost, you know, offers us. But I have alternatives. However, if you decide to go ahead with this uh, suggestion, that's also fine. But I do use so something else, right? You know, I have I have other things that I use really. So, but if you want to go ahead with them, you can go ahead with them. I'll just unselect them because I've already got something else that I use. So click here on next. Okay, here now, um, Bruce is asking us a few questions, right? Things like, what's the main purpose of today's website? If you want to go ahead and answer any of these, you can, but I'm, I'm just going to skip it. Um, like, you know, this is my WordPress site. Make sure you remember your password. I would say copy your password, right? Copy that and paste it somewhere. You don't have to use this password. I'll show you how to reset this password, at, you know, later. But for now, just click on login to WordPress, into WordPress, right? So it's loading. The connection to be your store is not secure. Don't worry about that. Just click here on connect. Just click on that. Okay. It's not connecting. Don't worry. That's not a problem. It will, it will connect anyway. <laughs> yeah. So now it has connected. So it says connection not secure. Uh, the connection will be secure eventually. Um, the connection will be secure, uh, but it just takes time. It, it takes a little bit of time to Bluehost to populate your your domain name so it can assign it, an SSL to it. But don't worry about that. It will it will connect, right? So let's visit our store. Okay, this is how our store looks like. You know, it says uh, buildyourstore1.com. Um, yeah. So our store is now secure. It has a padlock, but we need to log in. To log into our store, you know, we can just um, press that slash. We can just press slash and then we put admin, right? And then our username is contact. And then our password is there. We just put a password that will copy recently and just, we just click on login, right? Okay, guys, that's pretty much, you know, and now if you want to edit your, your like your stock details or your credential, things like your, your nickname, you can just go ahead here, change your nickname, you know, display name. Your nickname could be like your name, let's say your name, Ulrich, right? Let's say my name, Ulrich Zukwe. Let's say my name, Ulrich Zukwe. And then uh, I have my email here website if you want to generate a new password generate a new password just click here set new password you know that's what you you need to do um yeah just edit a few things things like your your username cannot be changed but all the details can be changed okay guys that was all about how to connect your godaddy domain name to bluehost and how to install wordpress on your bluehost once you've connected your domain name um, if you do have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. I'll really, really, really appreciate your comment. I will really appreciate your input, right? I, I do have a playlist on WordPress, you know. Um, if you like this type of video, please comment. It really helps this video going further. Like the video, it helps the video going further, you know. 
um, and even help the video go further when you share the video, right? You can copy the video and embed into your blog. You can share the video with your mates, you know? So my recommendation for you will be to share the video, share the video around. So thank you very much indeed for watching this video. Um, I'll see you next time. Take care.